I saw Operation Mincemeat at the Riverside Studios. Uh, I think it would have been last year. And I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was really witty and inventive and um, original. I thought it was warm and clever. I thought the, the, um, the tunes were really catchy as well. And uh, so it's uh, nice to come and see it again now in the West End. And I hope it has a long and fruitful run here. Well, I'm really excited to see it. I mean, I don't really know much about it. Um, I know a little bit about Operation Mincemeat as a real thing. So I'm intrigued just to see how they've how they've turned it into a musical and uh, a comedy at that. So, I'm, I, But I'm really looking forward to having a laugh, having done that for other people for a while. I'm enjoying going to sit back and um, have them do it to me. I went to see the show at Southwark Playhouse um, quite a while back. Absolutely loved it. I thought the show was brilliant and the cast were brilliant. So then I went to see it again at Riverside Studio. So this is my third time. So I've become um, a, a slight Operation Mincemeat fanboy. Yeah, I really think, I think it's going to be a massive hit. I think it's very special. I can't believe this is happening. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm in a wind tunnel made of white light. And I hope I make it out alive. I mean, we've had a just unbelievably lovely response from people. Like all the people that have been with us right from the very start have just come with us. I mean, you know, I was hugging them all in the street last night. It was just wonderful. We've had people who saw it back in the new diorama in front of 80 people. And uh, to be here now and give them what we are we're very proud of as the, you know, the definitive statement of the show. I mean, it, uh, it means the world, you know. I used to come and see shows around here when I was five. I never, ever thought this was possible. But, yeah... Good Lord, it's happened, hasn't it? It seems really surreal, particularly as uh, my grandfather is one of the characters in it. Well, we've seen it six times. We've been at Southern, we've seen it at Riverside, we've seen it here. So that they come from the fringe and worked really, really hard to be here. I was just saying earlier, it's so exciting for them. Um, having done years and years and years of fringe myself, I can't imagine how amazing it is to get into the West End. Um, I'm just so pleased with them. I can't wait to see the show. Really excited. It's my second time seeing it, so I saw it in a smaller venue and I thought it was fantastic, yeah. My uh, agent is producing it and he said, you've got to come and watch it, it's really funny. So that's how I know, you know. I'm not really, I don't have an ear to the ground as far as musical comedy is concerned, but it's meant to be really good. There were so many wonderful things that have come from the fringe and all different shapes and sizes, and it's just so great to see more and more and more. And I'm really excited to see, to see this show, because I haven't seen it yet. So, no, I haven't, no, I haven't seen it at all. So I'm, and I've just heard endlessly people talking about it for such a long time, and so I'm so, so excited to finally see it. I feel very lucky. I am so excited. It's my two favourite things. Musicals and comedy. What I like to do is not research anything. So I'm going in blind, but I've heard great things and I cannot wait. It's great that there's a new comedy in the in the in the West End. I mean, I think we're lacking in. Um, and things that are just out to really make us laugh. You know, it's not um, a crime to just want to be funny. In fact, it's the hardest thing to do. So I'm delighted that, that I'm sure this is going to be great, and I'm, I'm really um, looking forward to seeing it.